Welcome back to After the Whistle. Phil Badati here with Patrick Romlinger of the Bully Pulpit Golf Course out here in Medora. Special location for a special segment of this show. Patrick, I want to thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks for coming out, Phil. Such a beautiful vista behind us, obviously. With, with It's such an inviting area here on the fairway. It really is. Uh, you know, this used to be uh, the tee box area for one of our older par, par fives, uh, hole number six back in the day. Uh, we've dealt with some, you know, we're down in a river valley and we deal with some flooding every so often. So we've had to make some adjustments over the years. And uh, this is, uh, you know, one of our one of our gems that we've come up with here just uh, recently to, to try and get the golf course moving in the right direction. Hole eight, take me through this new uh, hole in this summer. 22. Yeah, uh, brand new hole number eight. Uh, we're at the blue tee box where typically most of our players are playing from about 390 yards. Slight dog leg right, um, trees on the right, uh, kind of some nasty area on the left hand side so our goal is to hit it right down the middle as we always are. Uh, our, our aiming angle is going to be uh, the 150 yard barber pole out in the fairway and hopefully it leaves us with a mid iron shot into the green maybe 140, 150 yards or so. Alright, let's see your tee shot. Alright, sounds good. All right, Patrick, you set yourself up pretty nicely here on your second shot. You beat out the bunker over here, and now you got a front right pin placement up here on the green. How do you approach the second shot? Yeah, we are in an ideal spot. I hit a speed slot, got a little bit past this bunker. Uh, so we only have about 100 yards into the screen. Got past all the trouble, the fairway bunker, and even the bunkers that are up by the green, not going to be a factor right now. I'm going to throw a wedge up, and hopefully we have a putt at birdie. All right, let's take a look. All right, sounds good. Well, Patrick, nicely placed on the green here, and you're set up for a birdie opportunity. Take me through what you're seeing. Yeah, uh, we got lucky here. We hit the green in two. Uh, my goal is to not three putt, so I'm just going to nestle it down there. Uh, it's a bonus that the ball goes in. I left it a little bit further, so we do have a downhill putt, but it's against the grain. Should be holding it up a little bit. Uh, going to break a little left to right, I believe, and uh, hopefully we're leaving the green with a birdie. You mentioned to me this is a newer green too. What, what is the dif difference between the new green that's put in here? And yeah, the other so ones? it just needs a couple years to mature, so a little bit of firmness to it. Once we start getting some more aeration processes in, get a little bit more nitrogen and sand into the earth, uh, it'll soften up and then uh, you know be more like our, our you know the other 16 holes on the golf course. So it just needs a couple years to mature. Patrick, a nicely done par there on uh, hole eight. Uh, I just want to talk about the ever-changing landscape with Bully Pulpit, right? That's the whole reason we talked about eight, because when you come here, you don't have one golf experience. Every year, it's going to be changing. Yeah, it's an ever-changing landscape, as you said, and uh, we're, we're very proud of this, uh, this topography that we're able to work in every single day. And uh, there's shifting that happens, and we have to make sure we're shifting and changing with the landscape as well. Um, so we hope to have a, a positive and different golf experience every time someone comes out. And uh, we look forward to the next time we can uh, see you folks out on the course. All right. It'll be a fun time coming out here at Bully Pulpit Golf Course. I hope you enjoyed watching one of these holes uh, that you can enjoy out here. Um, Patrick, I want to thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me.